Okay guys, I just bought a uh, new Sager laptop and I'm about to show you a quick unboxing. And here are the specifications of the laptop that I ordered. It's pretty much maxed out, except for the SSD. I only have 512 gigabytes. Here's some more specifications. I'm doing some tests right now on it. This is my MacBook that I'm doing this video on. There's a Sager. It's not too heavy. 5.84 pounds for a 15 inch laptop with this, these specifications. That's not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to show you my quick unboxing video and uh, I'll be working on some benchmarks and a new video for you guys. Alright folks, I'm going to do my first unboxing. Uh, I'm going to do it right here on the floor because I don't have a great place for it right now. This is my new Sager laptop that I just ordered. And I'll show the specs on the screen. Remember, this is just an unboxing. This isn't any benchmarks right now. I'll be doing my benchmarks later today. And I will be comparing this with a 2015 MacBook Pro that I have. This has a Intel i7 7820HK, so it should be very fast. I can't actually see what I'm doing here. Comes with a Sager two year limited warranty. My particular computer is has the GeForce GTX 1070, has a Intel 7820HK, has 32 gigabytes of RAM, has a 512 gigabyte Samsung 960 Pro M2, uh, whatever you call it, SSD. So that's the laptop. Hope you can see that. I'm doing this on the floor, so excuse that. Comes with a manual. Comes with some screws, for some reason. Hard drive screws. Looks like some sort of probably tape for the hard drives. So if you want to install a hard drive, they were cool enough to give you some tape or dampener, or whatever you call that. It has a it's either a CD or DVD of device drivers and utilities and user manual. Box is empty. Now. Here is part of the power adapter. It's 
just your standard. Well, it looks a little bit smaller. This looks a little bit smaller than your standard, uh, that little three prong thing. Looks to be about two feet. Power uh, supply. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That is side by side with a 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina. That's, that MacBook Pro is from a, is a 2015. Here's the demo of the BIOS. You can see there's the 7820HK stock speeds. I have the GeForce GTX 1070. I can make another video of all this uh, BIOS. I have a Samsung SSD 960 Pro, 512 gigabytes. That's pretty much it. Let's see what happens in here. I have not overclocked this yet, but I am going to. This is the first time I looked at it in the BIOS, so I actually don't know what settings I'm going to do for overclocking it. But that's what you see right there. Power limit. Well, I'll have to play that later. Right, I shouldn't let you guys see it boot up. All folks, a slightly better look. It's in my bedroom right now, so I don't have a great place to show do this video. I have two USB C 3.1s right here, mini display port 1.3. Two USB 3.0s. We have our audio in and in out microphones. I don't know about this one. This is a SIM card tray, so you could put a SIM card in here. I don't know if that's enabled on mine. This is a six in one uh, memory card reader. USB 3.0, I tried it, it's pretty quick. LAN for the lock, Kenningston lock. Have the power in, HDMI 1.4B, mini display port. Of course, I got the, I got a very bright light here. It's pretty much almost like a almost black pitch black 
Yeah, the finger uh, print reader works pretty good. I tried it. I have not tried the audio yet. But I will be doing some uh, more videos on this laptop. I've been doing some benchmarks and as far as rendering in Adobe Premiere Pro, it's doing about more than 60% faster than a 2015 MacBook Pro. I have a MacBook 2015 MacBook Pro that's maxed out, totally maxed out. And this is doing over 60% faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. Yeah, right, show his fingerprints. Alright folks, that's it.